In today's gospel passage, Jesus sends the 12 apostles out to evangelize. In Greek, the word apostle literally means someone who is sent, echoing a church teaching that has been repeated from the beginning of Christianity. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has encouraged all the baptized to understand themselves as baptized and sent. In other words, by virtue of our baptism, we have been sent out by God into the world to help every person to recognize that they are beloved, adopted children in Jesus of a loving Heavenly Father. And, I quote, to recognize their personal dignity and to appreciate the intrinsic worth of every human life from conception until natural death. Every baptized person has received a particular gift that helps them fulfill our call to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. In his letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul identifies five of these gifts that shape a person's manner of evangelizing. Jesus' gifts to us, writes St. Paul, is that, and I quote, some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers, end of quote. Due to the various gifts that Jesus has given to us, some of us are more of an apostle, other of us are more of a prophet, or some may be more of an evangelist, or a pastor, or a teacher. As Father James Mallon comments, one who has an apostolic drive are filled with new initiatives and drive towards innovation, since apostles are taken up with being sent, sent out possibly into new lands. A person who's more prophetic is less concerned with preaching the good news in new lands and new ways, but rather is taken up in reminding people of truths that have been overlooked, overlooked or ignored. Prophetic people, therefore, bother our consciences as the prophet calls us to repentance. A person who is more of an evangelist emphasizes sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with others. Their emphasis is less on being sent and more being messengers of the good news of Jesus who wants to enter a personal into a personal relationship with each one of us. This is reflected in the Greek meaning of evangelist, which means, defines Father Malin, good messenger, ou meaning good, angelos meaning messenger. A person with a pastoral emphasis is taken up with caring for others, physically and spiritually, including administrating to other people in an orderly, effective, consistent manner. Finally, a person with a teaching emphasis is marked by the desire to know the truths of the faith ever more deeply and by the desire to teach others the truths of the faith. How do we live out our baptismal obligation to evangelize? Do we emphasize being prophetic by calling others to repentance, or being an apostle who wants to go into new lands, or being an evangelizer who invites people into a personal relationship with Jesus, or being an effective, caring pastor, or being a clear teacher. Whatever our tendency is, which can vary within a person, we are called by our baptism to share the good news of Jesus Christ. May the Holy Spirit give us the courage and love to show forth the love and truth of God as revealed in our risen Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you all.